So this isn't going to be a normal video, not a tutorial or a guide on anything, but maybe some advice. I've lately been trying to learn Blender, the 3D modelling and animation software which is incredibly versatile and also free. I followed a Blender Guru tutorial series which resulted in the donut animation shown right now. If you're trying to learn Blender but you're getting stuck, I would highly recommend this series and all his other videos. They are all of high quality and best of all, he knows what he's talking about and explains what he's doing instead of just telling. Anyway, I added some of my own flair by modelling a fork flying down onto the donut and by adding a teaspoon and sugar lumps into the coffee. I had some issues along the way which I managed to fix later on. First of all, I spent a good three hours trying to figure out why the coffee couldn't be viewed side on. It was because first of all, the lighting was too bright and had to be reduced significantly to make it visible. And secondly, the texture of the coffee was inside out. To fix this, select the object's faces in edit mode, press Ctrl Shift N to reverse the normal of the object. It also took several hours to figure out why my donut's texture was not as noisy as I would have liked. It turned out that the normal map, which is essentially just fake depth, was being connected to the wrong input, as well as the noise and displacement node, displacement being real depth, being too weak to be seen. The fork also proved difficult for a while, but using a real life fork held in front of my monitor helped a lot with the shape and size. Finally, I had some trouble with the sugar texture, but eventually figured out that random noise was a close match. I using several noise textures feeding into a colour ramp node, which controlled the random whiteness of the sugar, as well as the roughness, normal and displacement nodes making it look like real sugar, even in the reflections. Thanks to Blender Guru for helping me with my learning. He really did make it a fun process. I plan to do more Blender videos when I have the chance, but if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please do leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, please do click like, and why not check out my, some of my other content shown here, and maybe even subscribe for more videos by me. Thanks for watching.